Hi guys. So I had recorded, well, I thought I recorded like for six minutes, but apparently someone was calling me and it stopped the recording 39 seconds in and I didn't notice because I'm not looking at the phone while I'm driving. So hopefully that does not happen again. Uh, I know this is a super informal video, so this is, if this is the first video you've ever seen of me, definitely you can watch this one, but definitely go check out my other content. They're a little more put together. I just, I've recorded so many videos since my last upload and I end up delete, I've deleted so many videos, you guys, because they all end up not feeling good enough. Like I don't feel like they look like they're a shitty background or maybe I talk too much or whatever, but like I told myself I was gonna be consistent and I, well, I have been in a way like recording, I just delete them all. And I want to make YouTube a stream of income for 2021. You know, I just hit a thousand subscribers and I don't make any money from YouTube. So, uh, I'm just going to record this, let it be raw and real and just upload it. And that be that until I can get into making, uh, another video that's a little bit better. Um, there's a lot of updates I want to talk about. There's things that I want to get off my mind and like tell you guys about. So, um, the biggest thing with my like consistency issue, I guess, is if you guys don't know, I took a social media break towards the end of my pregnancy and I was off social media for like months and, uh, I decided to get back on once I had my son, like a few weeks after I had my son, I felt like I wanted, I could get back on, like I could mentally handle it and I wanted to start making money again and like I don't make money from YouTube but I made money doing other things on uh, like Instagram and Facebook and stuff and then I, uh, anyway, so I got back on social media and it's been, uh, motherhood is not as difficult as I thought it'd be so far. Obviously my son's uh, about to be 12 weeks old so he's still, you know, young and it's not super overwhelming until recently I felt a little bit overwhelmed, but not too bad. It's just, I have to find this balance in my life, you know, and you know, when we first came home, I felt like I was doing really good. I had a C-section, but I bounced back really quickly in my opinion. And I was, you know, keeping the house clean and doing all the things. And just the last few weeks, like I felt like I'm a chicken running with my head cut off, like just trying to keep up with everything. Post on all my platforms, post on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and keep up with businesses and keep up with friendships and keep up with my marriage and be a mom and clean the house and <clears throat> just all the things. It's a lot to balance. And I know once I can get myself in like a good schedule and a good groove of things that it'll be a little easier, you know? So hopefully I say this in every freaking video, I'm getting on my nerves about that. Like hopefully I will be <clears throat> more consistent <clears throat> in the near future, but we're just going to try our best. You know, I'm trying not to beat myself up about it, but I just, I just hit a thousand subscribers. So I'm like, Elizabeth, literally, please get on your crap. Like let's, let's go. So, obviously, I'm not trying to look at the phone. I am driving to Atlanta for a family thing, um, which is exciting. I'm excited to hang out with family this weekend. But um, besides all that stuff, I wanted to update you guys that I am 75 pounds down as of this morning. And I'm super excited about that because, I mean, if you're new, you might not know this. If you've been around, you may know this. Uh, I lost uh, 60 pounds when I was in high school, and that's like the most I'd ever lost prior to this time. And I've never, but I've never been able to do it by myself. When I lost weight in high school, I followed a strategic diet program where you ate like bars and shakes and stuff, and it worked for some people. Obviously, it worked. I lost 60 pounds, but. I had to overcome my food addiction. If you guys don't know, I um, am in a recovering food addict, and that's how I got to 364 pounds. But I never been able to just do it eating normal food every single day, uh, occasionally eating junk food and things like that. So, a little bit of background on my story: uh, I lost 50 pounds from the 
end of 2018 till about the end of 2019. Uh, so it took me about a year to lose my first 50 pounds. And then I got pregnant with my son. And during my pregnancy, I actually lost like 15 pounds, but then I gained that back. And then towards the very end, I gained like an extra five pounds. So I barely gained anything pregnant, which was a blessing. And then postpartum, like after I had my son, um, for a few weeks, I think I lost like another 17 pounds, 13 pounds, something in that range, somewhere around there. And then I decided to do Weight Watchers. Um, so I actually had signed up for Weight Watchers like a week before I found out I was pregnant. And then I was pregnant and feeling sick and I barely even ate in the first, in half of the second trimester. Like I barely could even eat. So I canceled it. Um, and the, then towards the end of my pregnancy, I was honestly, I ate horrible. I ate so bad and I felt like crap all the time, but you know, I, I can only handle certain foods like dinosaur chicken nuggets were my jam. I ate macaroni. I'm not even into that kind of stuff. Like postpartum, I haven't bought any of that before I had my son. I never even bought any of those types of foods. But like when I was pregnant, I was eating like my childhood favorites, like chicken nuggets, macaroni, egg sandwiches, uh, pudding cups. I still buy those, but I get the sugar free ones. So stuff like that. Um, so I decided to sign up for Weight Watchers because going from eating kind of like whatever I want for like two or three months at the end of my pregnancy um and then jumping right into like changing my lifestyle back to what it was I was a little apprehensive and a little nervous like am I going to be able to do it again um obviously I was before I even signed up for Weight Watchers I like lost weight postpartum and it wasn't just due to being postpartum um I definitely was trying to watch what I was eating but I knew it's actually called WW now. It's not technically called Weight Watchers, but I knew Weight Watchers was a really great tool and I didn't want to count calories. I didn't want to do any, I just didn't want to do all that extra stuff. And the thing I love about WW is you track points. You can scan your food in an app and it tells you exactly how many points those foods are and you get a set amount of points a day and uh, certain points, I mean, certain foods are zero points, like grilled chicken, zero points, eggs are zero points, fruits and vegetables besides potatoes and avocados, as far as I know, are zero points. So I'm able to eat, you know, all these healthy foods, but then I can still have other things that I enjoy and not feel like any food is bad. You know what I'm saying? So for instance, I'm on the way to Atlanta, but I stopped by Chick-fil-A and I got a grilled like nugget bowl and then I got an unsweet tea with Splenda um, but the grilled nuggets were zero points and like so I it just I love it I love it so much so since being on Weight Watchers um, I've lost 17 pounds and that's been <clears throat> excuse me within I don't know how many weeks maybe like two months ish and that's with me like going to Thanksgiving I do have not particular cheat days like I don't choose a cheat day sometimes they just happen where I like overeat a little bit or um go over my points or I'm like you know I'm just not gonna track today because I'm not trying to think about it like I'm not like typically when I'm with family so this weekend I'm gonna try to track as much as I can but when I'm with family I'm like never on my phone usually I almost always keep it put up in the other room because I try to hang out with my family you know so those times, and I've been spending more time with family since my son's been born, I just usually don't track. Um, so that's with a couple, uh, a handful of days where I just didn't even follow through with my tracking and everything. And I've still been able to lose 17 pounds. And the last week or so, since Thanksgiving, I've been more um, consistent with tracking. So I've lost like five pounds since then. But I love it. And I am so freaking proud of myself for like getting to 75 pounds loss like that is insane you know I thought 50 was huge but then 75 I don't know why that just seems like I mean it is a huge number 50 is a huge number but 75 feels like such a milestone you know what I'm saying and I shouted it from the rooftops I wish I was not driving so I could show you guys what I look like right now so you can kind of see like a body shot but if you want to, you can, all my social media is linked in the description. You 
guys can go follow my TikTok, Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook. And I posted a video on all my platforms, like, dancing because I was 75 pounds down. And it's a really cute video. I was like, I love seeing, like, when I watched it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so funny. So, you guys can go watch that. Um, and, and I do actually occasionally post, like, videos of my weight loss if you want to keep up with it. Typically on TikTok, but then I repost them to my other platforms. So... Now I'm just like, I don't have a set goal for myself. Like I have an idea of what I want to weigh. Like once the journey never ends, you know, like I don't see my journey ever. I don't want to like hit a hundred pounds loss and be like, okay, I'm done. Like, no, the journey never ends. But there obviously is like a place, an ideal place that I think would, I'd benefit from health wise and I would feel great at. And what I think in my mind is like, 200 pounds for me that's what I was when I lost weight in high school I looked really really good and I know this time being really honest and open when I get to 200 pounds this time it's going to look extremely different because going from 200 pounds in high school I gained 160 pounds right so now I will have 160 pounds of loose skin I already had loose skin in high school when I lost that weight, so now I'm going to have, like, triple, basically, like, literally triple the loose skin. Um, I've had a baby, so my body just looks different anyway. Um, so, I, not to say that 200 pounds, like, I won't like what I look like, but that's, like, a big goal for me. And to be very honest, I would love to see me get to like 160 I don't think I would stay at 160 I'm not sure if my body and who knows it totally could but I'm not sure if my body can be sustained at 160 but that would be crazy because that would be 200 pounds lost um but at least somewhere like long term it'd be great to be between 160 and 200 like maybe 180 would be I think ideal I know I just said 200, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, 180 seems like it'd be really, really good. And I think that would be at the point where I could get loose skin removal surgery. That's way in the future. That's way, way, way in the future, obviously. I think you have to maintain your weight for so long before you get it. It's extremely expensive, which is another reason I'm like, okay, girl, get on the YouTube game. Do your social media work. So that way, when it's time to get that surgery, I can actually afford it. Because that junk is not cheap, you guys. It is so freaking expensive. But I know I'm going to want it. Um, I actually follow a girl. She's really big here on YouTube. She does Weight Watchers. She was one of the people who got me wanting to do Weight Watchers in the first place. Her name's Felicia. Uh, Felicia Fitness Health or something like that. I'm sure you guys probably know of her. She lost 160 pounds, I think, on Weight Watchers, or 140, something like that, and she just got her loose skin removal surgery, and oh my gosh, when I tell you guys how good she looks, like, obviously, people, you're beautiful no matter what, I am a firm believer, like, you can find beauty in anybody and everything, like, I think I'm freaking hot, I thought I was sexy at 360 pounds, like, I've always had confidence in most ways of how I look physically attractiveness um so she was beautiful before she got her skin removal but she's got a flat stomach now and that's like she looks amazing and I can't I don't know what it's like to have a flat stomach like when I lost weight in high school my stomach actually got I mean I had loose skin and like there was still fat there obviously but it was actually pretty flat like I don't have boobs at all so when I lost weight, I was able to wear a size small shirts. Like I was able to fit in really small shirts because my stomach had flattened. I had no boobs. I was still wearing like size 14, 16 pants because I'm just wide hipped. Um, but I, when I, the more weight I lose, like the more of an hourglass figure I have. So I was able to fit in like smaller shirts and I still had like wide hips and like wore bigger pants. Um, but yeah, so I'm not putting any pressure on myself to, like, hit a certain goal by a certain time or be a certain this, this, and that. Like, I do have, like, not expectations. That's not the right word. I do have ideal timing, but I don't have, like, okay, I need to hit this 
by this time. I need to be this small by this. I need to hit this whatever. Like, I'm not doing that to myself. But ideally, um, I would like to be down. I don't know. Like, I think it'd be cool to be, like, 260, which would be 100 pounds lost by, like, maybe April of next year. That's really only 25 pounds from now. So, it's like, I could probably do it before then, but I, like I said, not putting any expectations or like restrictions on myself. I'm just going on this journey and longevity is important to me. You know, I lost weight. I lost 60 pounds in like four or five months the first time and I ended up gaining 160 pounds. I didn't learn lifestyles for life. That's on me, but that's also on growth. Like I was at a different place. I didn't that I didn't beat my food addiction. I didn't do any kind of emotional healing like I've done now. So it's just been a great journey. Like I, I lost 50 pounds, got pregnant with my son. Now I'm down 75 pounds and I'm like just working on continually being healthier, not only for my long-term health of like living longer and feeling better, but I, a big goal of mine, first off losing weight in the beginning was so I because I knew I needed to lose weight to get pregnant like I I knew I had to I knew I could get pregnant 360 pounds thank god I didn't honestly like obviously in the moment when you're going through infertility it is so hard and you just you're like I don't want to wait but I'm so grateful I did not get pregnant until I lost that 50 pounds because I I was struggling like being 300 pounds or like I was like 320 towards the end of my pregnancy and and being pregnant, like, it was hard. And I know it's hard on skinny people, too. I mean, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt, right? But it was very difficult. And I was like, I could not have done that at 360 pounds. I don't know how women do it. I know women get pregnant 300 plus, 400 plus pounds. I don't know how they do it because it was really, really hard. So, you know, I was grateful for that. That's why I started losing weight. Besides the fact that I knew I needed to, like, a, a motivation was to get pregnant now I have my son and a big motivation is to be the best mom I can be and to be a good mom I don't want to like dog anyone if you're overweight and a mom because like look at me I'm obese I'm like severely obese and a mom but what I'm saying is like to be the best mom I can be like I need to be at a healthy size and like a healthy obviously mental health is important too all that's important but am I going to be able to run around with a toddler in a year at 300, well, 290, some like 290 pounds, probably not. Um, not the way I would at 260, not the way I would at 230, you know what I'm saying? So for me, longevity and like being able to do the fun things with my child and my future children and not be so worn out and so tired and just out of breath and things like that, like that's important to me. So that's like a big motivating factor for me. On top of that, like just looking better, feeling better, having healthier, uh, whatever. I'm just trying to think of the word, like, you know, my medical history, like all that get better. And especially I don't plan on trying for another child anytime soon. Like I don't see us trying for at least like a year minimum. Things could change, but I had a C-section. So like the longer, the better. Um, I want to be healthier for my next pregnancy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had high blood pressure the second half of my pregnancy, and they never told me I was preeclamptic, but on my paperwork from the hospital, I looked online, and it said I had preeclampsia. I don't know if they just put that on there just to put it on there because they can, because um, I, <clears throat> I didn't have any other symptoms of preeclampsia. I just had high blood pressure, and it was controlled with meds. I didn't have swelling. I didn't have, like, migraines or any of the other symptoms, but shoot, if I had it, I had it. I don't know. And obviously that can happen. I know skinny people that have got preeclampsia or had high blood pressure. My, one of my cousins that is half my, yeah, half my size. Yeah. She had high blood pressure in her pregnancy. So a lot of times genetics have to play in it. When, as soon as I had my son, blood pressure went down. It was like 114 over 75 <laughs> and it stayed down and I haven't had to be on my blood pressure meds since like before I had him. So 
uh, I could get pregnant at 180 pounds and still end up having it, whatever, but I just know I want to be at a healthier size. I don't want to be as high risk as I was. I want to avoid having another C-section if possible. If I, have, if I ever had another one, like I'd be totally fine, but I'd love to try for a V-back. And I just know there's like things that go into that. And then on top of that, next time I have a child, like next time I get pregnant, I'll have him who will most likely be a toddler and I'll be pregnant and going through all the things. And then I'll be taking care of a toddler and a baby. And it's like, that's a lot. The heavier, heavier you are, that's a lot of strain on your body. That is so much going on. So it's just very important to me for my family and for myself, obviously. But it's it's great to have that motivation from outside resources like your children, your your whoever. I mean, it could be anybody. You know what I'm saying? So that's just kind of where I'm at with everything. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to update you guys on. Just, I guess, I really love WW. And in my opinion, coming from someone who's a recovering food addict who has tried so many diets. I mean, I've tried keto. Now, I did lose weight on keto. I think I lost like 12 pounds. This was like years and years ago. I could not handle eating that much fat in a day. Like, I started to feel sick. So that's just me. I know that's not everybody. I'm not saying keto is bad. But I'm just letting you guys know, like, I've tried the keto. I've tried so many. I can't even think. Like, so many things I don't even know the names of. Like, when I was growing up, like, my family would buy, like, these shakes that they saw at the store that say, like, lose weight fast. And, like, I would try these shakes. And I was only eating, like, one meal a day. And it's just, like, crazy the things I've tried. And uh, obviously, I lost weight by myself without WW. Like, I know how to do it. But WW is such a great tool to keep you on track and to have something measurable to look on during, you know, throughout the week and be like, okay, so like what's working, what's not. Like if you're tracking your food, food properly, oh, excuse me, and you see a pattern with something, you know, you're tracking it. So, and it's not hard because you scan it in an app. You don't got to like go search it. You don't got to put in calories. You don't, it's so freaking simple, you guys. And it's so inexpensive. I'll have a link in my description uh, it should give you your first month free or maybe your second month free for the app. Like, you don't have to sign up and go to the meetings or anything unless you want to. I don't even know if we have meetings in my area, but they do have meetings. I think it'd be cool to do, but, like, I'm not worried about it, and it costs more money anyway. The app itself is, like, 20 something dollars a month. Like, that is so inexpensive. Like, that's one of the most inexpensive things I've ever seen in my life for the value it brings. Okay. So, I will have a link in the description. I believe it gives you a month free. I could be right. It gives you something free. So, just go check it out if you're wanting to sign up. It does something, okay? I don't know for sure. But something you get for free. It might be your first or second month. Um, and then I'm sure you can cancel it anytime. I'm not canceling because I freaking love it. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> um, and they actually, Weight Watchers does have food they offer you. Like, you could buy their bars and stuff. I haven't just because I don't feel like I need to right now, but I do, I actually do want to try out some of their foods and because they have really low point options, um, with their foods. And the one thing is though, I would never, never say never. I don't see myself buying all their snacks and like that being like, I eat their little meals a day. Like I, I'm not, I want to eat real food and that's what I love about WW is you can eat real food. I have Oreos almost every day. I'm not saying that's healthy. Keep in mind, I am not saying like that you should eat Oreos every single day, but I, ever since I was pregnant, I, I never had a sweet tooth pre-pregnancy. Never. I was like a chips and salsa, cheese dip type girl. Well, now, well, when I was pregnant, I started like liking sweets. I ate a lot of fruit and uh, like chocolate. I loved Nutella. Oh, I ate so much Nutella. And so since then, I've had like more of a sweet tooth. So I eat like one or two Oreos a day. Like I don't eat a whole row of Oreos a day. I don't eat like a whole bag or nothing. Like I eat one or two a day. Like we get the double stuffed Oreos and they are three points each for the double stuff. If you get the normal Oreos, it's like less points for sure. My husband always just buys the double stuff. And one of them's three points, two of them six points. And if I have leftover points at the end of the night, I let myself have an Oreo or two. There is nothing wrong with that. Not to say it's the healthiest thing to do, but if that's what you got to do to, you know, cure your sweet tooth and 
whatever. I eat the sugar-free puddings. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're, they, they taste better than the normal puddings to me. They're two points each, you know, and strawberries are zero points. So sometimes if I, you know, Nutella is really high in points, so I haven't bought it in a few weeks. Um, but if I want to eat like chocolate with strawberries, I get my strawberries and do the sugar-free pudding cup. There I go. That's a two-point snack. Like, it's, it's amazing. So, this is a long video. I'm not editing it. So, thank you all who watched this far. Um, I'm glad I got all this off my chest. I'm glad I'm going to be uploading this and not, like, stressing myself out about, oh, is it perfect? Is it whatever? No, I'm not. Videos in the future hopefully will be better. But you know what? Like, I've always been good at these, like, just talk videos. I try to do vlogging. It does, it's just not my jam right now in life. Maybe in the future. But, like, now it's... I can't. I, I forget to pick up the camera halfway through the day. You know, my life's too hectic. So, um, if you guys enjoy this type of content, if you like just listening to me blab and you want to keep up with my, you know, lifestyle and what's going on with me and my weight loss journey and my motherhood journey, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you here. I did change all my social media. I don't know if you guys noticed. To Lizzie and Little. I just love it. I don't like Lizzie Morris MUA anymore. I want to get back into makeup artistry in the future like doing makeup on people because I have so much um products and stuff but it's just not incorporated in my lifestyle right now like I said it's too hectic but MUA just didn't resonate with me anymore so I wanted to change it to Lizzie and Little all of my social media is Lizzie and Little including YouTube um Facebook obviously it's not because I have a Facebook page um but it's just Lizzie Morris. I'll have it linked below and you guys can just follow me. You probably don't want to add me as a friend, but you can just follow me on there. I post on Facebook the most. But anyway, so that's that. Like I said, if you enjoy this, please hit subscribe, like the video. All of my social media is linked in the description box. The Weight Watchers, like free month, is linked in the description box. Um, so you guys have all the tools and whatever you need. If you guys have any questions for me or any like video requests or video ideas or whatever you want to ask me you can leave it in the comments below i will get back to you guys when i can 